Can you guys give us a bumper? You could do it separately or together. Sure. Um, what do you want us to say? Uh, generally, advertise yourself, and you're listening to PBR Podcast. Hey, uh, my name's Taylor Allen. Steve Arena. And we're calling the shots, and you're listening to PBR Podcast. Let me try that again. I just <laughs> okay. said my name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, I'm Taylor Allen. And I'm Steve Arena. And you're listening to the PBR podcast. We're calling the shots. As always. As always. Always. Do that one more time. <laughs> um, I, I did it with PBR podcast. Okay, right. You want to start it? And I'll jump in? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, how are we starting this? Hey, uh, introduce yourself. Hey, Steve Arena here from Calling the Shots. And uh, I am also from Calling the Shots. My <laughs> Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I feel like that one was going to be really good. Uh, Derek, I'm just going to play that whole thing. So you want to just try it? <laughs> Get us into the show? What do you think? I, I think that was great what they just did. I'm going to play the whole thing. So why don't you just get us into the show? Oh, yeah. This is PBR Podcast. Let's rock. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Uh, PBR Podcast, Mike Plano, Derek D. We got a couple special guests in the house as you heard them flounder their <laughs> cold open. Yeah, that, uh, but I liked it. Uh, I enjoyed that. It's, it's the best, real. right? I'm it's playing real. that entire clip. It's real. Glad I, you said it five minutes to the show. Can I just say something that was funny, though? Because he was, because Steve was like, because Taylor said something, and then Steve was like, just said his name. And then they stopped. He's like, all right, let me, I want, I just said my name. I'll say something else. And all he added to it was, I am Steve. <laughs> that's, <laughs> it, that's it. That's it. There's a whole sentence there. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Calling, from Calling the Shots Podcast, Taylor yeah. Allen and Steve Arena. Hey, guys. That's a power name, Steve. Thanks. You know what it is, though? I feel like I want to say, yo, Steve Arena. But it's Steve you Arena. Got it. Of course. I, yeah, because you had to do that. Uh, I did it. It's, it's Derek, man. You got to get it out in the you open. You got to get it out. Yes. Speaking of getting very close out in the you. open. Oh, we I have feel so like, much to talk I about. I feel like there's something we should get out That's, right in the beginning, which we kind of discussed today briefly on, via text. But this is technically PBR Podcasts. 100th episode. It's, oh. actually, it's actually technically not. Oh, you're, but, oh. <laughs> but, thank but I mean, like, sort of. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't bring that cake. <laughs> oh, God. No, it, it is. As you look at it on iTunes today, it's it's right. it's 100. Thank you very much yeah. for the applause. So congrats. Wow, for, yeah. Yeah. Congrats it's, for 100. It's really Wish like. could have done more. Like 280 something. <laughs> it's 100th in the new generation. In the new generation. That's what I'm right. saying. Like, I, I don't know if you're tuning in today for the first time, but we actually, there was a first iteration of the show that had uh I mean, it had 80-something episodes, but we did two per number. So, you know, I'm not a math major, 160-something episodes. So is it safe to say... We're like two, we're approaching like 300. But 100th in the Derek D era? In the Derek D era. (laughs) In the PBR era, it's 100. (laughs) So how about we just... Say that again. Say it again. Why don't we... To 100 episodes, gentlemen. Cheers. 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 Salute. 100 episodes. All right. Here we are. And now... Five years We all drink blood. (laughs) Blood. You're not supposed to tell him what Dennis put in your glass. Sorry, Dennis. I don't even know if Dennis! he's here. He's, he's, here? he's somewhere, you know. Um, so I was on Calling the Shots. Thank you so much for having me on. If Guys listening to this right Anytime. now, uh, don't pause this, but when this is over oh, yeah. and you're done listening to all 268 episodes <laughs> of the, our show, <laughs> go over to Calling the Shots and you can uh, Calling the Shots and you can check uh, my episode out. And then you had Chris Ladondo on. We did. We had Which I on. want to talk about. We had yeah. him on last week. How, was, what, how like let's talk about it because number one, the the audio was destroyed. Well, let's let's start at the beginning. If I, I know where you want to get with this story, so mm-hmm. I'll just start from the get go. Um, we were excited to have Chris on. We you came on and we had a really good episode. I thought it was like one of our better episodes. It was interesting because you have interesting <laughs> stories, and it was fun. And then Chris came on. Um, also, great story. Really good guy. Really funny. We had a good time with him. And then uh, it took a turn when I went to edit the episode, and the audio was destroyed. It, oh, t- no. it, let me, it took a turn before you went to edit. Well, do you well, see I, those things that you're wearing on your head right now? Right. Okay. Uh, so, right. Rule number one: maybe offer your guests uh, headphones you as don't well even as need, yourselves. You don't even need. We play a little music in the show, and sometimes we'll we'll kick in a song. So um, we would like to wear headphones, but right. you're, somebody should be monitoring what you're doing if you're going to take the time to do it. We're not there yet. 
we're close. I mean, <laughs> I mean you have you an iPhone? 40, 40 episodes. Right. Do you have an iPhone? That's the headphone episode. <laughs> he yeah, does. It, it, it the, came with white <laughs> headphones. Right. I guess, yeah, you're I, right. I get it. I get it. You should monitor, monitor it. Monitor. We should. We should. Well, we learned that. So we, so we lost the, the audio. I, we didn't lose it. So the, the audio is it's a little distorted. It's a little choppy. We put it out anyway. Mike kind of said the same thing I was thinking. Like, hey, put a disclaimer at the beginning. The audio is not great. Put it's it a out. podcast. That's the yeah, beauty. Right. Of po- you do right. whatever Just you want to do. Just put it out. And right. we did. And like, I, I still like it. It's fun to listen to. If you can Sorry. get past like the little choppiness of some of it, um, it's not the whole episode isn't choppy, but most of, like good sections. The are. words are there. <laughs> Somehow you understand it, right? Yeah, that you, kind of we, explains it. We want you to put the puzzle pieces. I've together. had the same exact thing happen. Us. Right. That, We're we, talking about Ladondo's episode, or yes, Mike? No, my, Ladondo's. 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 Yeah, yours it's karma, crazy. dude. Mike, came, mine came out perfect, crystal clear. Again, karma. But didn't you? You showed up at that. So, sort of, sort of. Well, no, no well, I well, did better. So, oh. so again, so Ladondo, for those of you who don't know, is is a uh, meat monster, a registered vegan, meat mm-hmm. monster Hashtag in the state of Staten Island. Um, Corey Carey. <laughs> in the, in, I'm sorry, in the what now? I, I, he's a registered vegan in the state of Staten Island. It should be its own state. <laughs> you think? I mean, it's all. It, it's just weird. like the tri-state area should be New Jersey, Staten Island, and New York. <laughs> I, uh, you may, I mean, well, yeah. We also I, kind of discovered that night that Steve uh, and oh, Chris kind of look similar. Like, with oh, the, a little yeah. bit. It's very right, strange. Right? Like, I never noticed that. But so, so we do the, we do the episode with Chris. It was great. We had a good time. We were feeling really good about it. We go outside after the episode. We're standing, uh, we record the podcast at my, my home. It's a great setup. It's a nice little setup. And we, we're standing outside and <laughs> what <laughs> can you fill in what happened next that like we hear yeah so we hear voice. somebody say hello yeah hello and then we open up the uh i thought it was your neighbor so did because i because taylor has a neighbor across the street that always hangs out with the garage door open yeah blasting party music. guy like and he used to come over yeah but he hasn't in a while and i thought it was that guy but it wasn't we opened the door and it's the domino's pizza <laughs> man with the pizza saying you guys order a pizza no, no, we didn't order no. Domino's. Who orders <laughs> yeah. Domino's? Right. Then I was and thinking maybe uh, your wife ordered Domino's. Right. From inside the house while then, we were doing And then he the said, it says the garage. <laughs> and then we kind of knew what was happening. Well, we knew, like, I put it like, How so, did you, like, you didn't know no well, he yet, first, right? Well, like, we well, knew it was our pizza. We knew it wasn't a mistake. It was a good, like, so I felt was, bad later because it was a good five minute debate between me and this guy as to, you, you are not at the right <laughs> house, sir. I promise you. <laughs> and I said, are you sure, like, it's uh, my address in my town? Are you in the right town? And the guy's looking at me like, yeah, buddy, I'm in the right. <laughs> can you put a town. message with? Yes, you can. Yeah, okay. well, he did. Um, <laughs> so then we finally, he said, yeah, this is a, well, you know, when I knew it was you was <laughs> when he said, I just lover. have to deliver this meat lovers pizza. And I was like, oh, <laughs> and then almost it, it, it was it not like. It, it was like a poem. As soon as I said, spoke those words, and he, we all realized what it was. I hear doo doo on my phone, and I just look at my phone, and it's you. Because <laughs> well, you knew it was delivered. It, it was Mike. It was yeah. I was watching the tracker. It was Mike, and he goes, "You guys still podcasting?" <laughs> and I'm like, "You son of a bitch!" And then we all, we were all, yeah, we laughed a lot. And the pizza guy was not laughing. <laughs> he was just like, "All right." No, he just, he, he, just, just, he, he was, was like, Adam. "Am I getting a tip?" Yeah, right. So we were like, oh, then, did yeah, you then, tip we, him? then we we scrounged. We well, t- Steve and uh, Chris tipped him. Yeah, I, I, was, I did not have any money in my pocket. Our guest tipped him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Our> gu- <laughs> and also, he ate none of the I pizza. Mean, that mean, was the other thing. Did you talk to you? Oh yeah. Did you eat it? I didn't talk to you about that, but. The guy brings in the pizza, and then we're looking at it, and Chris is like, ah, this is gross. And I'm like, yeah, it's gross. But I kind of wanted a slice <laughs> of it, but I felt like too bad. Wait, was it gross? Can I, oh, I, can I just... interject real quick? It wasn't just the meat lovers. Like, I ordered the oh. meat lovers, and then I went down the list, and it, <laughs> it was nasty. there was salami on yeah, it. It was, it, it was like heavy. a barnyard on it was like pizza. When the guy... <laughs> <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> well, the guy I hand, wanted a slice of it. it was did like, you eat it? It was like I didn't 50 know. pounds. You guys really? threw it out? You, you didn't have... I don't know what Taylor... I, that, Come that's on. The other thing. Did Taylor... So so Eat I'll continue the story from here. It, it was at least, I swear, it was like a 40-pound pizza. <laughs> and I put it, it was I, expensive. I put it on the table that you saw that the bar in my garage that we do the podcast on. I put it, I sat it down, and I was like, oh, man, I got to freeze this. I got to, yeah, I'm going to eat it one day. And then I went to go listen to the episode for me. I went to go edit it and put it out. And the second I heard that the audio was destroyed, I went into a deep depression, and, and ate I ate like four slices oh, of it. Yes. How was it? It was really good. Uh, <laughs> it I was, was horrible. Yeah, I, I, I felt terrible it. in every sense of the word. 
but it was great. That's classic, though. That's, it was that's, so that's, funny, well, dude. I, we, I, it was, I, we were laughing. Move. Really. I was, called, uh, I, I had a busy Friday. I knew it was going down because I was there the week prior. I thought you were going to show up. Well, I called Derek and I was like, what, uh, we were going to crash and right. just throw meat at him. Oh, yeah. By the way, side note, shit chips in my house. I mean, that's where my daughter lives. All right. Uh, you're going to put that in my home. You you offered to, I mean, geez. No, we're not going to shit chip you. I was just saying that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I got know, it. We talked about it last week. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I listened right. to it. Yeah, I, yeah. Shit chips are just the thing that sometimes uh-huh. you do. Yeah. So, I would never I shit chip Taylor anyway. Allen. Uh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> my memory is so bad, and it it makes it makes entertainment so good because I watch things and I laugh, and then I watch them again and I laugh. You know, you don't like, realize you already watched it. Yeah, I totally forgot we talked about that. <laughs> I did too. I didn't realize that was on the air or not. Yeah. So so we so there's uh, no apples on this pizza, correct? <laughs> no. Okay. Derek, so Derek, I asked Derek if he was available, and he had a date with his his girlfriend. I love girlfriend. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> okay, but he had a date. Hey, that's all. Do we want to get into that? Not really, but I no. guess. <laughs> You she, didn't, she didn't come down. Sure, and you still didn't come with me. We could have threw meat at Ladondo physically <laughs> and shit chipped his house. <laughs> no, and you did that nothing. was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. Anyway, so I was sitting here with the lovely and talented, and uh, we were gonna try. Uh, Pam and I were gonna try to come up, and we we're gonna stop at like Wendy's or something, bring burgers. Yeah. And uh, we just ran out of time. So I was sitting here, and I was like, you know what? I think I still got time. She's, <laughs> I can do this. I'm like, should I just go on the Domino's app and order one? She's like, do it. I'm like, all right. So I it did. was brilliant. It was so funny. We we had a good laugh, and uh, and then it was like I felt like after that we were kind of like I was like, all right, uh, you guys could go home whenever you want because I want to go to sleep. <laughs> like that was a great. Like we really got like a lot of laugh out of it, and then I was like, all right, let's uh, wrap this up now. Like, that was the end. Let's get out of here. I had to leave before I ate a slice of that pizza. <laughs> you had to get out of there. She can't believe we didn't eat one. I don't I know. know. I should have just went for you it. Should just went for it, man. I felt bad. He was talking. We were talking about how he's he was vegan. Oh, no, you don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, we did talk about that on the episode. He needs protein. Ladondo. I was trying to help him out. Yeah. We all like Ladondo, but yeah. I'll eat. I'll eat. I'll I eat just met him too. Right I don't know him. him. Yeah. No. No. So just because you met him and talked to him about him being a vegan, you won't have a slice of meat lover's pizza? Not the first time. I'm confused. That's very interesting. That's polite of I'm you. A, I'm trying to be polite. He was our guest. If right. you're at a, out at a party and you're having a beer. And, uh, and you're you're talking to somebody and they're like, oh yeah, I'm an alcoholic. Do you put no, your beer a, down? No, that's a party. But if it was <laughs> like three of us, then no, I wouldn't. Like if someone did the show and was a uh, alcoholic, I wouldn't have a beer. I mean, you well, are you right do now. The, and you Derek, do the show with me. I mean, <laughs> you're having a beer right now. That's why Derek's I have a, recovering. <gasps> Oh, what am I recovering from? Derek. Alcoholism. He's drinking out of a mason jar. That's moonshine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Straight up moonshine. That's what I thought. That, that's yeah. what we like to say, moonshine. <laughs> Steve Arena not eating the pizza in front of Ladondo because he's a vegan. Je- Steve, it. Steve Arena. Ask Dennis. Arena. Uh, the pizza <laughs> not eating it in front of Ladondo. Ask Dennis to uh, open a well and ask him to order a pizza. Yo, Dennis! Open the... Is it open? It's open. <laughs> Wait, try again. Open the, the door is locked. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Am I? Oh, shit. Am I <laughs> No, you can't. I call. fell in the well? Oh, yell down the out. well. You know how this works, right? Yeah, I'll got to yell down it. I'm yeah, back in the yeah. studio. Let me watch. Yes! I need you. What are we? <laughs> Order a pizza. What is he? I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. I, I never know what he's doing, what he's doing. down there. Is he know. down there with Dan Bodden? He, he, I don't know. Ask Dan. Him. Oh, every, Dan Bodden never would Hey, Dan. I was up to a pizza. I heard the guys talking up there. Gay! I have noticed that you do a little New Jersey 101.5 on your, like, so it's like, yeah. hey, every, hey, let's, you know, let's do a little role play. Okay. okay. Uh, we're, we're them. <laughs> Go. Hey, everybody. Uh, it's, uh, the game was on. This game was, uh, <laughs> this game was on four years ago, Derek, but we're going to talk about it today. Like, it's on now. Bobby Bodie. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Sorry, give it a Bobby Wait, wait, hold on a sec. Can you just help us out? Uh, gotta, yeah. I just want to just look quietly. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Okay, hey, Derek D, what's going on? Let's call the shots. Hey, I'm um, Taylor Allen by Derek D. Oh, it doesn't matter, but we're watching the Super Bowl one. <laughs> Super Bowl one. <laughs> Let's call <laughs> the Packers. Uh, <laughs> the other team they played. Because we don't the know. Ice <laughs> we're watching a football game where they're wearing leather helmets. So what's up? So I have two critiques. Right. I really enjoyed the we show. Got, yeah, I, yeah. Not, we had fun. I, we had fun with you. So why why the echo? So the echo, I felt. Well, can, can I give a brief history of the show? Yeah. So when we started doing the show, we did it as characters. So we were Taylor sure. Calhoun <laughs> and Steve Sweeney, and we were two <laughs> characters that called game. We called the entire game. Right. And we called it. 
as if we were these crazy characters and we made up stories. We it's, just, like Brit, it's like an improv like thing. Brit that Meyer, did. that yeah, show. yeah, yeah, I liked that. It I was, it was fun. We did commercials. Yeah, we did fake Why commercials. Why did you go abandon that? It was so taxing on both of our brains to do, and it and it wasn't. A, it kind of became not a, to, for me at least not as fun as just like shooting the yeah. shit with my friend and and then we wanted to try that too and I feel like we're better at that maybe um, than the other thing but I don't know that was just me yeah I think we're developing a beautiful chemistry still. <laughs> yeah, we've known each other for almost 20 years and yeah I think we're finally <laughs> becoming friends you know because we were in the same room with playing characters never really wanting to get to know each other <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, you only it was kind of sad now right. thinking about it. You we only got to know his character. I just right. knew his character. Just never, never got to know the real me. But now we know the real us. By the way, I think now I I think I'm a fourth timer on PBR today. Is it, it four be. times? I mean, you, you I thought it was right? even more than it's that. Either, it's either three or four, but yeah. So I think it's fourth fourth timer. I was going to say like five. There. I don't know. But you know, but we uh, I think we have a good thing going and you know, hey, thanks guys. I, you shouted us out on the last episode. It was very nice and we're yeah, we appreciate it because we did see when you were on, we were, we like saw our listenership oh, shoot spike. up. We were like, "Oh, wow." Just just um Mike, Mike's got some fame. Write that number down and then when Dirk comes on, <laughs> I would just like you to compare. Just saying. <laughs> that's it. That's the, that's the tease. That's the, there it is. Well, that's another thing. We we had asked I had asked Eric to be on this Friday, which I, you, this past. Are you seeing this, gr- this upcoming Friday? You, gonna, you have plans with your girlfriend again? Well, I don't know. Well, he keeps saying that. I uh, <laughs> I figured like I'll put him in the spot and ask him on the podcast just oh. so that he has to like mm. lock something in. But I mean, it's fine if you can't. We could do it on a different Friday. But I would love to have you on this Friday. What, what time this Friday? Nine thirty p.m. Exactly. What will I send then? Right, I'm killing your Friday night, which is no. There's something I, I swear. If you don't, if you don't, it's fine. We'll figure it his out. His Friday, Derek. Let me tell you something. No, about this Derek past D. Friday was Jess Winter's birthday. That's Derek D lives a much different life. I, I'm assuming than the three of no, us. No, right? no, not true. Um, Friday, the coming to your house. That was like one of the hottest Friday nights I had. Like yeah. hot, as in like, like awesome muggy. time. No, oh. no, no. Oh. Like as in great times. Like I was oh, out. Good. Yeah, you were that out. I've had in like us 15 too. years. Every week for us, the same thing. <laughs> not for De- not for Derek D. He's at like Tuesday night bar right power hour. No, I'm not. He's filming commercials. I don't commercials. go out during the week when it's not the summer. He's filming Gucci commercials in Japan. <laughs> right. He's doing things that we <laughs> He's on Fallon. Can we talk I'm, about that? I'm not on Fallon. I was at the show. But you were on the Instagram feed. I was. That's I was. pretty cool. Um, uh, but uh, are we talking about that? Well, I'll save that story for our show. <laughs> no, no. You can tell. You can tell. <laughs> no, no. It was, uh, just, uh, yeah, if, if, if you didn't hear, basically every now and then they send like an intern out anywhere in the city. And uh, they they'll they'll you know Instagram picture like hey we're here come find us and I I shit you not I was just I was coming from an audition at right near the Flatiron Building and Madison Square Park is right there I was walking to Madison Square Park looking down at my phone on Instagram so I'm flipping through Instagram story and you see so I see it says Madison Square Park yeah, that's funny I'm here but what are the odds of the right you know I didn't look up yet I'm just looking down looking at my phone and then I hit it again and it's this girl she's kind of dressed like Carmen San Diego and she's like come find me and she's right in front of the fountain. And I was like, oh, that's funny because I'm right. I look up. There she is, 20 feet from me. Awesome. I just walk up. I go, hey, uh, are you The Tonight Show? She's like, yeah, I've been here for almost 15 minutes. No one found me. I was like, she's like, you want tickets? I'm like, yeah, I want tickets. So um, I ended up getting the tickets. It was a good show, right? It was a great show. Yeah. And the thing good was. Good guess, I think. Yeah, it was Jake Gyllenhaal, um, Jane Goodall. Yeah, whatever. She knows she's just like an awesome human being. Lady, yeah. <laughs> right. And then there was. Um, and then they had Yo Gotti and Nicki Minaj perform, which that didn't really do it for me. But oh well, well, that's a shame. That didn't do it for you. No, no, I mean her nipple Nicki came Minaj. out, which was cool. Oh, perfect. Her nipple popped out. So they were like in production. They're like, oh, hey, so just they're enough. gonna perform again for you guys. And I'm I'm saying to the one person next to me, I'm like, no, her nipple was out. That's why they're doing it again. It's not because they really like performing for us. Right. It's because her nipple popped right. out. It's but, par for the core for Nicki Minaj. But it was crazy. I couldn't. I ended up going by myself. No one could make it in the city in time, and everyone I knew in the city that like I thought of right away was either um, working or not in the city at that moment. <laughs> I didn't get a phone call. Yeah, you wouldn't have made it. So oh, I didn't either. Ended up on an aisle. Steve, did you get a phone call? I did not. Well, I don't know Steve's uh, number. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no excuse. But anyway, they moved me after Jake it's, Gyllenhaal's segment. I was like on the left side on the aisle. They moved me down because he's promoting this movie where he plays a, a guy that uh, had both his legs oh, right. going off in the Boston, uh, Boston Mar- Marathon. Yeah. yeah, And he was sitting down second row aisle seat oh, after wow. they, after they said, and he's here tonight and they showed him, they got up and left and they moved me to his seat. Wow. That's awesome. So, I'm on the so you shared butts with Jake Gyllenhaal. 
Jake, no, the guy that oh, he's the guy playing. that he's playing. The but I was game. as close as MTU. But, Jimmy was standing right next to me, and I was just conversing with him. Well, you would assume that that guy and Jake Gyllenhaal have probably shared a seat at some point in their meetings, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So you pretty much shared butts with Jake Gyllenhaal. I pretty much did, butt to butt, butt to butt. Yeah, no, it was it was really cool though. And I got I, I got to be on, <laughs> I got to be honest though. Uh, just like all of my being wanted to be on the other side of it. Yeah, though. it's great to be in the audience, but it was yeah. You know, I was like, You're yearning. one day I'm going to be in that seat. I want to be you. I want to wear your skin. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's what happened. That was pretty awesome. Right place, right time, I guess. Very cool. I fell asleep. <laughs> Mike, Mike's I had heard, looking, I had Mike's heard looking at me like, why did you ask this? I had heard the story right. already. Yeah. Right. But no, it was cool. It was that's, very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Didn't get that audition. At least I didn't, didn't <laughs> think I got it yet, but um, you know, whatever. We're waiting. Yeah. Uh, Steve, you were talking some smack about my jerseys hanging on the wall. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Well, that one's terrible, right? We could agree on that. Absolutely. Yeah. I think we all can. Right? I, yeah. Uh, three times. Yeah. I'm champion. not crazy about it either. I mean, I don't really He called know. the game yesterday that the Dallas Cowboys bungled horribly. Maybe uh, you guys could talk about that on Friday. I'm calling the shots. Maybe that could be the <laughs> we're game. We're going to do the play by play on Friday night. <laughs> um, Troy Aikman. We're talking about my Troy Aikman jersey, and uh, he's amazing. Well, he was a great quarterback. Going to give it that, but I hate the Cowboys. A lot of people saying he was maybe high. Last night, his, yo, he was Bob Costas from the Olympics. They last said year. his Double eye, conjunct, very though. pink eye. Well, looking. they were in Denver. Oh yeah, so Things Aikman is. You know, I hear that the the president's really trying to push to make that happen. Is that legal, right, Don? Legalizing it? What are we doing? Uh, you're trying to legalize Denver. I gotta tell you, you're trying to make you're trying to legalize Denver and make legal. Staten Island a state. Hundred percent. Everyone knows Staten Stat Stat State Stat State Island. Okay. <laughs> Staten Island is what it's going to be called. It's going to be its own place. Have you heard these people? They talk differently, and Jer- in Jersey's like two seconds away. It's crazy. I don't. I don't get it. I love them. They're great people. They talk weird. Derek, do you yeah. think they talk weird? I mean, it's weird that it's so close to right, right n- near yeah, Jersey. You get, get there it. in a half hour. Yeah, it's very, I mean, I, I like the people from Staten Island. I can't what believe do you mean? How, guys, how calm you guys are that the president is. I know. Right well, next you to know, him. he's always here. Well, That's true. The, fu- the funny, you know, he hangs out with Dennis. Does something, he live in the well? No, something well. needs to make this show better, and it's not Mike. We all know that because Mike, you're terrible. But that Derek D guy, fantastic. Don, what do, what do you think? So can I get a? Can I get like some support for my? Uh, you know, I'm running for town council. I heard you. You're running for town council. God bless. God bless them. Because uh, no, no, I mean, God bless them if they sneezed because. That's about all you're going to do is... Make them sneeze? I'm going to make, make the make people of Neptune Township sneeze. You're going to make them sneeze. <laughs> that's about it. That's the only thing you're going to do. I don't know if that's an endorsement. Just you know why? You know what? I, actually, I do like Mike because there's this wall at the end of his street. <laughs> oh. He doesn't like it. I love it. I'm going to leave it there. Donald I, Trump, everybody. I'm not done yet. Oh, <laughs> Denver. Let's blaze. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the bonus. Wow, that's I don't, po- I don't know Trump pose. out. Every, yeah. You know the funny thing is he just like appears and disappears. It's so gone. weird. It's, crazy. it's like a cloud of smoke. Yeah, it's nuts. I mean, every yeah, you know, he sometimes he comes back. You never know. <laughs> you know, like he depends. You, oh, oh, oh Don. One more thing. <laughs> oh, like, that's so amazing. Cool. Did you see the Emmys? Yeah, I missed it. Was it was my night. Oh, there everyone's talking about me. <laughs> I am the most popular person in the world. It's pop culture me, okay? I'm the president. I'm the coolest. Beat it, nerds. Don, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it, they talked about you a lot, but The Handmaid's Tale also got a lot of scratch on that, so. Well, I had a couple of handmaids in my time, okay? And by handmaids, I mean, you know what I mean? Maids. You, yeah, had you hands. handled their. Yeah, I get it. No. Like, not like Arnold, okay? Well, I, I, I banged Whoa, the maid. No, no, oh, my God. Arnold, Where did it come from? I, I banged <laughs> What's up, Arnold? I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Schwarzenegger. I love, I love bagging my maids. These yeah, guys don't get along. But, I know. You're fired. No, you're fired. <laughs> you can't fire me. I'm the president. Derek, keep them apart. You, you guys, back up. No. <laughs> 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 anyway, what I was trying to say was, I got a lot of hand jobs. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you, Arnold, I bet you can grab him and throw him right in the well. No, I throw him right now. 
<laughs> Jesus, Arnold, you just threw the president in the well. I'll get down there. Uh-huh. I feel like Donald was still pretty yeah. composed when he fell down that well. Though. Nah. Well, he's the president, he's man. Cool. You know? God just shows he's, up, man. Probably has an escape route or something. I mean, Mark Maron talks about having Obama on the show, but we have Trump all the time. <laughs> every day, almost every episode, you could you Crazy. could tap into him. Whoa! Yeah. Dude, oh. like you're, how'd you get out of the well? I gotta tell you, I know a lot of people. Okay, Secret Service was already down there. <laughs> They were checking it out. There's that Dan Bottom guy down there. He's fantastic. He told me about this well, game. <laughs> yeah, keep my music on. <laughs> I gotta tell you, any game I play, I win. Okay. You play to win. You're I'm the a, POTUS. You see that gift that I retweeted? Me hitting the golf ball and Hillary falling. Fantastic. <laughs> That's what you call art, comedy. As Seth Meyers doesn't know about it. <laughs> POTUS, everyone. Wow. Steve, do you feel special? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not eating the pizza. <laughs> Steve Arena. You guys should remake like a really bad version of Bill and Ted. <laughs> yeah, I feel like we have in our lives. Can I be Ted? We I did should. travel back in time that one time and stop uh, Abe Lincoln from getting shot. But then we realized we shouldn't mess with history. So we went back and shot him ourselves. Mm, Double so homicide. I heard. heard. Oh, What'd I know this music. What'd you hear? That I, I keep hearing. I know this that music. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. It is. It's being remade. I it hear. Yeah. They're filming now. I They're believe. both. It's both of them. Yes. Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. But see, a movie like that, back. they could do it because why not? It's it was based on going to the future. So if they look like older, that's fine. Listen, can I can I break the PBR wall? Could you, could you cut this music real quick? Because I got to talk some shit right now. Whoa, what's no, going don't on? No, I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> I wanted to just get real. Have you seen John Wick? No. Yeah, yeah I saw both Keanu of them. Keanu Reeves could do whatever he wants. If I you've saw seen those. John Wick, am I right? John Wick was great. John yeah. Wick 2? I didn't see John Wick 2 because I was afraid that I would feel the look that you're giving me. The yeah. Wick went out. <sighs> the Wick went out. But John I, I, Wick I, I won. Dug it. I dug it. Come on. I heard it was guy. I never it saw. Was, I mean, oh, now you that you've completely like ruined sorry, the rhythm of the sorry, show sorry, for no sorry, reason. Sorry. I like Keanu Reeves. It just uh, yeah, no, no, it was good. Speed was just not. <laughs> Damn it! What was I just gonna say? Uh, I lost my train of thought. <clears throat> Bill and I Ted. Oh, oh, yeah. oh! If you ever get the chance, and I don't know if you did, but uh, to see Point Break live. No, bro, oh, that was great. Live, so we, we went. What was that? Yeah. It was. It's. It's. Can point, you explain it? Because I. Uh, I don't know what it was. It's Point Break live, <laughs> but it's but like it, real it, cheesy improv. Props. Improv. Uh, improv. But, it's, but is well, it to the script? Or? Yes. Dude, it is amazing. To the script. sounds awesome. First of all, Johnny Utah and Derek tried out for. They pulled Johnny Utah out of the crowd. So yeah. like twenty dudes go up and they they cast call it uh, as part of the show. Johnny Utah is different pick, every and show. And they pick someone. Oh god. And they play. There's a woman with cue cards. Like you do the whole thing. They're hitting you. It's, it's amazing. It's been going on for like thirteen years. But we it's saw it at like the house. It was yeah. yeah, yeah, and they like have like water guns. They split, but it's it's real like cheesy props, but it's it's amazing. It's excellent. Uh, it it's well good, done. Yeah. The guy who played Gary Busey he was really awesome. Good. He was awesome. So what do they tour the country? Yeah, yeah. and they have like but they have different actors and people that are, are in it, and they just pick like a different Johnny Utah. Or are they like kind it's of always a new? It's always Johnny Utah's is, from the audience. Okay, but yeah. like, but they also have people that play like, right. Yeah. Busey. But, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I think there's awesome. like a New York actor that plays when it's here, and then there's an LA actor that uh, plays like. So cool. I mean, Google it. That's it's it's pretty sick, and it's it's coming. The reason I brought it up is it's coming back around. Oh, is it? Yeah, I don't think it's back at the house, but it's local again. Well, we that's we got to. We should all go. We should all brother about that. His brother. So Steve's brother is he's done some uh some Broadway ish things, right? Well yeah, off Broadway off plays. Broadway, he moved like, to LA and he was in a off Broadway play of uh, like a rendition of Mean Girls. Yeah. It's in LA, oh, that's okay. a way off yeah. Broadway. Yeah. Hey yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Steve, uh, this year uh yeah. You're, this <laughs> how many thousand? Forty thousand? Oh, I thought you said forty. <laughs> no. That's way off. <laughs> Three thousand. Um, this is your first time on a show that you hear that music. It's called a uh, game you like to play called Top or Bottom. I'm gonna read you uh, two terms. You're going to tell me if these two things were in a relationship, which one would be on the top and which one would be on the, top, on the bottom. We're going to round table it. We're going to start with you. Uh, top or bottom, number one. When we're talking about stuffing. Oh, boy. Apples <laughs> or no apples? Little, sh- little throwback. So which one would be the top? Apples or no apples? Like stuffing in apples or no s- apples? We're talking about stuffing. Right, stuffing. Apples would be on top. You, Something yeah. with apples on top. Word up, right? <laughs> because I'm a man. I'm on top, and I have apples. <laughs> you have man apples? <laughs> I'm so confused by that. He has maples. Yeah. 
So yeah, uh, you, the more stuff you got, uh, uh, the more on top you are. <laughs> Has it? <laughs> Interesting take. <laughs> Interesting take. Has anyone ever t- uh, told you that when you're, and I've only met you twice now, but I, when you're uh, deep in thought, you have a very angry look on your face. <laughs> Resting then, bitch face? Like, no, it's not rest. No, not it's not resting bitch face. But when you're when you're in thought, you look really mad. Like sometimes you intimidate me. I think I'm mad because look, I, right? can't, I can't find the next word. <laughs> <laughs> I have to right. pull it out of me. All right. I'm I'm going no apple for sure. That's fucking weird. And you guys, are, I'm sorry, for, it's but it's weird. I think you guys are both weird. What apples about the apples? Crazy. Yeah, it's you weird. heard the phone calls, right? Yeah, three out of three out of four moms. Agree. Listen, not my mom. moms or no moms. <laughs> Stuffing, no apples, and and while you're at it, no sausage either. Oh, oh dude, whoa, whoa, whoa. keep that stuffing. Hey, keep that stuffing on its own. <laughs> keep the sausage. We gotta get this guy out of here. It's uh, always a sausage. Right? Listen, I'm surrounded by Italians. There yeah, you are. I don't know. No apples for me. Sorry. Well, apples on bottom. Right, I'm agreeing with Taylor Allen. Right, apples, well, we know that. Steve, apples I'm on, on your side. Top and bottom number two. They have a sports show, right? We got to throw a little sports. Sure, into please. Let's um, get in. Slap shot or the longest yard. Ooh. Derek's like, I'm what sorry, about I've Airborne? Never seen it. Airborne. <laughs> <laughs> Airborne. The air up there. Air Bud. Roller, the rollerblading movie. Airborne. Oh, you oh. are so stupid. <laughs> I've never seen Slap Shot. What? I'm sorry to say that. I have seen The Longest Yard, but I feel like if I saw Slapshot, it would be on top because I just saw those guys in those nerdy glasses. The Hanson twins. And they're the hell out of each other. And it, so I'm going to say Slapshot, even though I haven't seen it. I can't believe you've seen never it. seen Slapshot, dude. I have to see it. You, you, can you do me a favor? We were talking about... Next next episode, when Derek comes on, instead of putting a game on, put Slapshot on we, in the background. We, so what we were discussing yeah. was, from now on, we're going to do games, but every now and then we're going to throw in a sports movie to, to comment on. And then not talk and about it. And we're going to sync it up to where you can play the commentary while you watch the movie if you listen to the podcast. That's awesome. So we're going to do that. There's cool. another podcast that... <laughs> right. <laughs> friends that of ours that... that uh, medium Popcorn. Oh, they do that? They do right? that? Right, that's what they do. Oh, yeah. Oh, so they maybe we'll, we'll, we'll change it up, but we'll do, we're going to do sports movies. movies. It'll be different. But, It'll be me and yeah. Taylor doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like a different, because yeah. it's two different people. Two people um for me i'm gonna go slap shot too but you didn't clarify whether it was don't even ask me don't ask me that question don't ask me that question listen i love bert man okay like i'm just he was in the new one too played a different role was come on but so was i don't know half of the wwe i'm gonna go with slap shot uh football always over hockey so oh Oh, god yeah get real (laughs) oh you know what (laughs) boomer or carton Derek. Uh uh-oh I'm so oh I Booms. love it. I'm so happy. Oh, thank you. Good. Booms. Good. Good man. Hey Booms. Um, that's a tough one, man. Uh, All right. He was like, "You're arrested." Shot. All right. <laughs> slap All right. Shot. I hope he never comes back. Uh, top and bottom number three. He's gonna go um, to jail. Yes or no? Do you hashtag yourself in your own tweets? <laughs> you know, like for example, do you tweet something out if you're Derek and then hashtag Derek D? Hundred <laughs> percent. That's for me. I've never hashtag anything. <laughs> I don't even go. I don't go on Twitter or any of that. Uh, really, Instagram? No, no, no Instagram for Steve. Steve Verino. Yeah, that doesn't do best. social media. He lives. In, he lives in the moment, man. This, this guy, Steve Meister. No social media for me. Pizza. Didn't po- eat it. Podcast is his. Yeah, it's his <laughs> this limit. is it for me. Um, but I would have to say I wouldn't do that. No. No. What if you... I would, because what are you trying to do? You're trying to get prom- yourself promoted, right? Promote as an, entertain- yourself. As an so actor, yes, comedian, would, uh, host. Yeah, for the job, I'd hashtag Boom. myself. Boom. Steve Marino, make it sense. <laughs> I got to... I got to... So I feel like I already know how the rest of this is going to go, so I got to 50-50 it out and say no, because I got to go uh, no hashtag on the, bo- on the top, because... It's going to be more interesting. We have to have a, some sort of a tiebreaker because <laughs> this is all even. It's been even, even, Steven. I, have you ever hashtagged Taylor, Taylor Allen? I, I never have. Really? No, no. 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 You I, know who hashtags themselves? <laughs> Assholes. A lot of people. <laughs> I, Nobody hashtags I themselves. I, I don't hashtag much either, but I, my hashtags are usually... I'm trying to be funny with my hashtags, and I usually make them ones that are probably not going to be a findable hashtag. I try to I, I Real long do ones. that, and you then do I that throw, too. Yeah, yeah, but then I throw like a. You'll throw like a little. Try to throw the other ones in there. Derek D. <laughs> yeah, Derek D. I got uh, Travis Dale's always in there. I got hashtagged uh, politically yesterday for oh, the first boy. time by a troll. 
from well, before from, we get into from, that, from, from there, locally, locally, or yeah, oh, like for real, for to, real, for your, I couldn't sleep for your for campaign. My ca- yeah, I couldn't sleep, and it, I know who did it, and it was a real thing. It, it's so fun. I don't know how much we want to get into. Well, it. if like, it was I mean, a real thing, it shouldn't bother you that much. You know what? My whole saying is transparency in government. It, 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 so, like, I should probably just talk about. You know it. why people are talking smack? Because they're nervous, baby. They are nervous. You're right? pumping up that. They saw that banner. They were like, "This guy came to play." He, he hashtagged uh, Plano unprepared. Like that was his hashtag. No Ooh. way. Yeah. Is this the guy you're running against? Um, I know exactly who it is uh, because it was a fake Facebook account, and you know it's fake because you go on to look at the person and there's no. There's hit. nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it was a the uh, the, the the pictures don't tread on me like the symbol. Oh right, right, right. And there's zero history, so they created mm. it right. Uh, so right after the troll commented on my t- and ha- uh, right commented on my two uh, topics, immediately the guy I'm running against also posted the same story. With that hashtag. So I was like, come on, man. At least right. spread out your time. Yeah, there. give it a couple of minutes. Man. Yeah, it's funny. It's, it's actually funny, man. I mean, hey, I refuse me. to partake in that. Hey, hey, it's me, the troll that uh, commented on Mike's podcast <laughs> page. That's the voice you're going with? Yeah, man. You're, you're, you're never going to do You're, you're not going to cut it, bro. Uh, <laughs> I'm running against a hippie? Oh, man. You don't even know. You're, uh, you're like so unprepared. I got to tell you. Maybe we should I'm have gonna, Derek I'm, read his commentary in that voice. Yeah. Oh, I'm the troll. <laughs> oh man, I was on Facebook. I create face, face, fake Facebook accounts. I feel like the hashtag guy... Polano unprepared. <laughs> hashtag you have Polano to... politics unpopular. <laughs> Yo, if you embrace it, it's it's useless. It kind of, but it kind of right? sits like right with it. Like I feel like what you said, it just right goes right into it. Like that voice, <laughs> or like a guy who's just out of breath a lot. Like. <sighs> Uh, Facebook. Uh, Pilato's a putz. Uh, he's unprepared and he goes to laugh, but he can't because he's out of breath because he's just sitting there with a tub of butter or something and just. <laughs> what if it's the, I eat uh, blocks of cheddar cheese. Yeah, he's definitely. By it could be that guy, sure. just a little yeah. more out of breath. Yeah. Uh, what if I'm totally off and it's the guy who threw the bag at me? <laughs> it's probably the guy that you're running against. Like, well, no, I know, I know. Well, you know who it is, yeah, right? We all know who it is. <laughs> anyway, hashtag Derek D on top. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to say uh, not hashtagging yourself. I'll go on the bottom. Could man. you imagine it was Ledondo? Just like, <laughs> but I don't Mike Milano, I'm prepared. Oh, uh, yo, it might be. We don't see eye to eye politically. Uh, I, although I bet if, if we were talking about a local politics, Ledondo and I probably see very eye to eye. I think so, yeah. Um, top or bottom number four, World War Three or natural disaster, which one's going to take the cake? <laughs> Didn't we just have a bunch of natural disasters? Well, I'm saying, which one? what's going to be the end all? Oh. What do you think? Natural disaster. Yeah. The Earth has to destroy us. It can't be. It can't be man. I mean, oh, the, the Earth has to get its revenge. It has to destroy everything that's <laughs> destroying it. Wow. That's how the story goes. I'm gonna go with Steve on that one. I, I was Earth gonna, on top. Welcome to Earth, as we said in our last podcast, as we may quote uh, Will Smith. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah, go with you, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go natural. I was gonna go World War Three, but now that you said that, yeah, Earth's pissed, man. I, We're yeah. really. I spit my gum out today on the street. I'm not. I'm not proud to say it, but I did, and then I was like, uh, I felt bad about it for a minute. That's not cool, man. The Earth is gonna swallow me whole for that. I was at that. Just for side note, I was at that Blonde Street, Blonde Street, Blonde Street Bach party the other day, and I had gum. And it went through it in the garbage. It went in and bounced out, and I didn't pick it up. Ooh, see, we're both going down. But I, my initial was to get it, and then it bounced out. I wasn't going to walk out and grip. Anyway, uh, natural disaster. Hashtag, hashtag Derek D. Hashtag gum litter. <laughs> you too. Um, <laughs> in one of the trees in my yard, there's a bird's nest, so I was just kind of like checking it out, and I saw... <laughs> Uh, what were you laughing? At? I thought you were gonna say I crushed it with my hand. No, man, I love na- <laughs> I love nature, but there was a six pack ring holder built uh, into the nest, and that really bothers uh, me, man. At least it's getting used, but well, they're like using right, it. Yeah, they that, use it. But the bird's like, I got that new shit. But, it's called but, plastic. But like, you, <laughs> this but shit is gonna last. Uh, yeah. But that's the reason they tell you to cut it up because shit stuff like that happens. Yeah. And so, it's not good. But it did help the bird out. So is this the first one that we're all in the hand holding club on? Well, this is the first. No, one. I didn't answer my question. Oh god damn it. <laughs> um, I'm curious to say, like, nuclear war breaks out. Does that not spark natural disaster anyway? I mean, does it not speed it up? Does, I mean, didn't. I don't know at all. Didn't the North Koreans, they, they blew something up and it caused an earthquake? Didn't that just happen? Right. So they also threw another we, missile and it went over Japan, so Japan's pretty pissed at them, too. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with uh, that causing an earthquake. 
My, my question is, I understand is, what you're saying. It's 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 hand in hand. It's yeah. Maybe, like we've never experienced like we yeah. We've there was been a Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and people have tested. How could that stuff. not create? You're like, saying it, man could create oh, natural. If disasters. you have like uh, if you have like thir- like if Korea launches, we launched, other people launch, and all these things are hitting. It, could it really shake the core? Can we go a different direction right with yeah. what you're saying? The hurricanes are saying move faster in warmer water. Maybe war- water's warming up because it may be global warming, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe we already are creating the natural disasters. Yeah. And I'm with all you. All right, out. natural. We're, you know what? Cheers, everybody. Natural hey, disasters cheers, on guys. top. Cheers. Um, so I saw a meme the other day that somebody said that uh, it's been confirmed that Breaking Bad is a prequel to The Walking Dead. <laughs> Well, that's I, I've heard that like early yeah. on. Yeah. Wait, what? It makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah. Like he's meth- saying that the, the blue meth eventually yes. yeah killed everyone and turned them into the zone. And that's like what started the whole. Oh my God. Yeah. Mine Pretty F. cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do they have blue meth in Walking Dead? See, oh, there might be like Easter egg. Yeah. That's yeah. A good, we might have missed the. Like, I don't watch Walking an Easter Dead. Egg. But if that's the connection, I would have to go back. Walking Dead. Uh, do you watch it? Too many yeah, seasons man. now. See, I, I, I watched it up until like. Two seasons ago, and I for what I, so kind of when I had my kid, and I like lost track of it, but I always liked it. But I missed like the, the big stuff that just kind of went. Well, there. listen, this this uh, I've heard the what build happens, up because listen, they they start strong, they end strong, and somewhere in the middle, they I want to shut it off all the time. Right. But they, uh, the book ends always they captivate me. Yeah. But what they've set up for this season, I hear the entire second half, what's what's about to come back on, straight through is nonstop because this is the this is the war. Right. Of all, what it's called all that war in the comics. Are you guys. Are you guys Game of Thrones? Derek guys? gets mad. I'm Game of Thrones. Talk. Yeah, you? I'm done. No, I don't watch. I watched it. I mean, that for me, that this last season was like back oh. to back, end to end action. So like, good, great. Like every episode so was perfect and so good. And I, uh, another show you guys were just talking about recently. I have a little disagreement. Is Ozark? Ozark or Ozarks? Ozark. I watched the whole thing. Fantastic. You don't like it? Bro. I wasn't impressed. Oh, did, really? you, did you like Breaking Bad? I loved Breaking Bad. That's I think why I hated it because I was like, this is this is like a not as good version of Breaking. Oh, Bad. I love Jason oh. Bateman. I, I, I do too. too. I do too. And I, I, I love something. Uh, I was bored during it. I felt like Laura Lenny phoned it in. I don't know. I, was, I, I said that was my one contention. I didn't like her as the uh, wife. I didn't that, like. Her. Maybe really? that's what did it for yeah. me. I thought she was too old. She was snarky, right. but I think they that was like her good whole deal. Chemistry. I don't know. I just uh, it was it was all right. I don't. I thought it was great. I wasn't nuts about it. Teach the room. Top or bottom, number five. One awesome joke or multiple good jokes. Ooh. Whoa. That was Remix. Abrupt. That was abrupt. Burp, 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 burp. One awesome joke on top. Yeah. Because. I mean, it works better. Because you can keep YouTube laughing calls. about the awesome joke. Yeah, like forever. Forever. It's always funny. I'm still laughing about <laughs> something. <laughs> that one joke. <laughs> that one joke I heard that one time. <laughs> um, I gotta go. Oh, man. That's a tough one. Thinking a sense of maybe stand up, though. Right. I'm thinking that too. And That's where the idea came guess, from from that show. Well, it came from here. your show. We're trying to plug your show. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, I like one awesome joke, too. What was it called? It was called. Um, Remember the show? That, what was it called? The a- one you did? A- Asbury Park Brewery. Oh, yeah. the, the the 51st comedy. The, uh, Bruja. Yeah. Bruja. Bruja. Bruja, where um, you had all those all those comedians and entertainers, right. and you asked everybody basically that we to know tell, except me to I be saw, to tell one Jesus. joke. We went right. through this. Yeah, um, I like to rehash things. I go to the I, well. I so I, I think one awesome joke is great because it sticks with you, it, and and you know a lot of good jokes. It's like a, it's like a show. It's like a good show. You watch a good show. It's good. You remember, but then, like, do you remember, like, episode five of Breaking Bad? Like, what happened? Like, you remember it as a whole. Yes, it was a great show, but, like, do you remember, you know, every part of, like, uh, Jaws? Yes, of course you do. It's a great movie. It's a great, like, piece. I feel like that's kind of like a good joke sticks with you. Hmm. Whereas, like, a great joke sticks with you. Whereas, good jokes, like, yeah, you remember them and they were funny and you laughed, but did you, did it? Did right. it resonate? Yeah, that's a tough one. George Costanza would remember that episode. He would tell one joke yeah. and he would get the yeah. laugh and he's out. And he's I'm out. out. <laughs> but that's, yeah, that's how that's, I'm all about and We were that. just talking last week about Mitch Hedberg and how much right. we all Oh, he's a, he was yeah. a one-liner king. But yeah. he, but his were like his was like a mixture because his were like he had multiple awesome multiple jokes. awesome jokes, right? And but, was, but if you tell one joke and you miss, like, oh, then you're done. But that's why you have to have that that's one like awesome Richard, joke. It's like as, uh, Stephen Wright, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. S- similar. Too. Very yeah. similar to Mitch Hedberg, yeah. But, um, yeah, I... I don't know. Actually, in that in that Bruja, I switched up my joke last. I night. felt like your joke was great in that in that. Well, you've heard it, but you heard that one yeah, before. Yeah, but I, but I like was gonna I was gonna do something else. I was gonna do this whole trick. Well, because like uh, t- 
timing wise, even though Joan Bershia went on for like six minutes, which was great. Yeah. <laughs> but the um, mine was probably going to be around like four minutes. And I was like, oh, it's too long. So let me just bang out this other one. Yours was great. <clears throat> oh, I felt like it was really good. No, yeah, I think it went, went over well. But I was going to do this different one. Can I do mine right now? Yeah. Can I tell you? Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, the overly polite interrupting cow. Moo. The overly polite interrupting cow. Moo. You gotta oh, answer. The overly. Oh, so sorry, sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm. So, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. I always do this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I. I'm so. Hang on, I just gotta apologize because I always do this, and I feel like such a dumb dumb. Uh, I'm so sorry. I just need to say moo. That was, that was my joke. Was, he went first. Good. It was very stupid. That's yeah, well, I was. Yeah, I was. But yeah, maybe I, with the way Taylor Allen kind of explained it, I think I'd go awesome joke. I guess like if it's that, I'll like belly laugh, awesome. Yeah, I want to be entertained. But a bunch of goods in a row. I want to be entertained all the time, though. You know, like if I go to a show, a I want, one. I want, I want a lot of good jokes. Like one good one's not going to do it in an hour for me. Well, how many you is know? multiple? Uh, a set. <laughs> you know, yeah, a whole set. So 40 minutes? <laughs> 40 that's a, that's, minutes. Like, it can have that's lulls. Like, no, that changes, maybe. It so. can have lulls. I mean, like, no matter what comedian you are, you could be Chris Rock. You're, all of it's funny, but there are ones that are like, yo, that was I also think, you know? I also think it's dangerous, right? You leave, you leave that last joke as your money shot, right? And I've been to shows where, even like Sometimes. big time people where it doesn't hit, and they're like, good night, and you're See like, you later. Whoa, shit. And yeah. that could ruin, so I would rather have good a good line all the way through then go for that one big one and it miss i've seen a comedian go with his end joke and not like you're saying not hit and then like realize oh man that didn't hit and then just throw like a classic in and it kills and yeah, like, well, all right see yeah. you later and that's like you know that's a pro move that's a pro move yeah what do you think the um what do you think the guy that's trolling me like what do you think his joke would be uh, hey troll what are we calling him troll guy how about uh don't tread get, on me troll don't tread on me the, don't tread on me troll. oh yeah <laughs> Ah, uh, hey, Plano. <laughs> How about this? No one, no one's gonna like you, Pull Anno. That's his one liner. I'm a troll. I don't got he's like, jokes. He's like, ah, uh, Pull. Uh, no. I gotta come up with uh, some kind of theme music. No one's gonna pull for Polano at the polls. <laughs> Hashtag that. Hashtag Derek D. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you imagine that guy hashtag Derek D still? <laughs> oh, just to mess with you. Oh my God, how sick would that be? Is if like he did that? Like he obviously just to, listens just to, to the troll show. you, yeah, right? Uh, we'll know now. <laughs> what was it? What did he actually write again? Oh, he was just arguing about politics. No, what, what was the actual wrote, hashtag he used? Oh, uh, Polano unprepared. Oh yeah, yeah, damn right. That's what I wrote. Because you're unprepared. Oh, the troll. This is hair up. I know. Th- listen, this it's is my, my movie. Song. All right. Go ahead. Wait. I think. I think he should also have a little bit. This is him. This is a. Uh, don't try to me troll everybody. Oh uh, yes, it's my favorite song. <laughs> Polano sucks. He sucks. He sucks. Vote for me. I'm a troll. Who cares? Suck my D. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, okay. this, is, this is like good politics, Mr. Trolls Troll. Are getting, we want to keep it friendly. It's we called mudslinging. Listen, last I saw a troll that had no D, period. They're just cute. I mean, guys. we just want to talk about the topics. Gems in the belly buttons. That's, that's. Get out of my hair. I got long, sticking up hair. You're in my hair right now, Polano. <laughs> You're unprepared, Polano. It's a different yeah, kind of troll You're in my hair. Hash, hashtag. Oh, it is. It is I was troll. picturing a different troll, like a, under the like bridge. Like a bridge troll? Bridge troll. <laughs> yeah, like, troll. I kind of look like that, but with long hair and I eat blocks of cheese. You were picturing Danny DeVito. Extra you? sharp cheddar. <laughs> Polano pansy. Hashtag. Loser. I, lo- I like that his mu- the troll's music has this like this little bit of hip hop flair to it. Yeah. Oh, that's all that. Yeah. I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> oh wait, you're still here. I love. Uh, uh, I'll get out of your hair because I have long hair. You have none. Plano hair unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth, man. There's like that's no his, arguing. That's that. his campaign commercial. <laughs> Plano hair unprepared. <laughs> He's got none. You want to trust a guy with no hair? <laughs> Oh, oh, that guy's Here sucks. we are. How do you expect the <laughs> yeah, guy to stay prepared with no hair? <laughs> yeah. He can't even keep that. Are he going to keep his promises? <laughs> <laughs> see, at least, see, this is good for you. I'm voting now, for Mike. Because I'm now you know Mike. what to defend yourself against. I'm voting for Mike. Yeah, me too. Well, you can vote for you can. You I are can. I'm still registered in Neptune. Oh, perfect. I am. What well, are you running wait. for? Hey, Steve, we should move to Neptune. <laughs> sure. Um, let's get a house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 
town town committee member. So, uh, Ooh. so Derek D. Oh, Derek D. Oh yeah. You uh, you walk into the to the polls on November seventh, <laughs> and you see the troll. He smells delicious. Oh yeah. Turn back that curtain. I go back in there to switch the lever and I... <laughs> I smell a little something funky. What's that funky smell? It's that troll. Because he's wearing... Troll la 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 la. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Calvin Klein. Oh, dude, I thought you were going to give the hashtag. That way, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a that that music is perfect. By the way, <laughs> oh. the so I, that uh, that came up. Maybe you would like to participate. Sure, uh, it came up while we were talking about <laughs> meat, <laughs> right? Well, uh, how did that come up? Oh yeah, we were talking about salami and we're, stuff. We're, yeah, like super sad and all that stuff. <laughs> so and they sound like cologne. How, sort can of. you make any make cured a, meat sound sexy if you if you uh, play that music? I had a little refurb, and but but the key is what kind of meat? Uh, it, what's the name of the, the the cologne, and who is it? Can I give who him is it the by? meat? Um, is you, it a, a made up? Well, uh, let him pick his uh, his, 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 meat. his meat. What's the but one you I can said? give him? Who uh, the, su- the super sad? Okay, but no. What's the one I said that was like that was, was good? Uh, uh, I don't I know. know. Andy I Andy know. Barr, our fact checker, womp, womp to check. fact check that. What was like Derek's number remember. one cologne? His it was meat a good cologne. one. It was a meat cologne, but it was the it was two. Two words, I think. It wasn't pepperoni, but oh, it was um, salame. No. So, oh, no. it might have been. I don't know. So, did yeah, salame. I did salami and made it into salame or something. But I did a, I forget. I forget what it is. So, Maybe. what's your favorite meat? I don't want to give it up now. Are we doing it. <laughs> yeah. Capricorn. Oh, all right, hold on. So, your favorite meat is Capricorn, and uh, so Capricorn. <laughs> Capricorn. So, uh, young Steve. Oh, I like that. <laughs> young Steve. You are. You walking into the uh, toll. The toll. You, young Steve, you're going to walk into the voting booths on November 7th. And man, she catches your eye. Wink, wink. And you walk over to her. And what is she wearing? Wearing. The voting booth? <laughs> A dress made of pure copper coal. <laughs> By who? Super size. <laughs> he went double meat. Double meat. Double, double meat, meat works. Double meat. We didn't give him the person in that's, all fairness. In all fairness. That's, that's my Steve, though. He would go double by meat. He went double meat on it. Capricorn by Super Size. <laughs> it sounds it. like it could really be like a perfume. <laughs> oh, man. Um, stand by, everybody. Here's <clears> that. Let me do this thing. Steve, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna let to you, let you do this. I've been off AOL for a while now. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> chat room, you want to go in the chat room? Where uh, I gotta change my player because I'm having trouble playing with my player. Um, Taylor's done this a number of times. This show is called uh, the PBR Podcast, where we talk about the revolutions of our guest, which is you. In the year 2050, essentially, this is called Armchair Futurist. What is your industry going to look like in the year 2050? But before we get to that, Derek D has a superpower. It's been, it's been all right, but, you know, can't, he, can't guarantee it. You remember that sound? When was the last time you heard that sound? A while ago. And what did it? 15 years ago. What did it represent to you? AOL. All right. Did you have, then please don't say it, but did you have an AOL instant messenger screen name? Yes. Okay. Oh. Derek can nail it almost to the T. So Derek D, I hope I'm you've not, been preparing. I, You've know, you know, Steve long enough. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you've known him as chance. long as you've known no chance. There is not a chance. Derek, do, do I was your a strange guy. <laughs> don't don't offer too much. How old are you? you 35. You, do you know it? I, don't don't ruin it. Uh, I mean like I can't yeah, ask questions, I, right? I think I do. You've you've heard him play this game before, right? Yeah, yeah, like, he's amazing. Okay. I, so. Well I had two. The one I started off with is, is the one I'm thinking of. Okay. Man. Yeah, I, I might AOL. not know that one. First ever AOL. Oh, man. So this was like regular AOL. This was like, and he says, weird. See, the, for my first inkling is to go something like, you know, 
Steve Arama because it's got to play on his name or something, but it probably didn't do that. It's probably like not even his name. It's probably your name's not probably even in it. There's numbers in it, probably. No, 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 no numbers. <laughs> Maybe a number acting as a letter. Oh, well, like an eight. <laughs> oh, so there's a number in it. That's a big hint, I feel like. I mean, I don't know. So, I mean, this is a tough one, but it's like, uh, I don't know. Um, eight oh oh eight one three. <laughs> it's just numbers. <laughs> boobies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that? It was, I don't know. It was give, it, give it a shot. Give it a shot. I'm going to say it was um, like, you know, the, uh, you're, using, you're using the eight like as great but it's like GR and the letter eight. And you're like, you're like great. Steve. Great. Great. Steve. <laughs> Steven. Great. Steve. Rama. Great. Great. Oh, I, I wish know. it was that. What was it? If I used the eight though, I would have used it for skate. Cause Ooh. I used to rollerblade oh! when I was a kid. I was going to s- match made in heaven. No, but I didn't do that, but I would have made the eight for skate. Many people did that. I, I, you did? I was Skate Doctor 17. Oh, eight. he was Skate yeah. Doctor 16. Oh, there, that, there you guys are finally got met. First. <laughs> Fight to the death. It was, uh, I mean, I made this up when I was like in eighth grade or whatever. And <laughs> it was Lord Xenoff. Like I said, I was a very strange kid. And I thought that would just freak people out. Yeah, There's you no know way I would have gotten, gotten that. that one. And I really wasn't getting a lot of hits in the chat room from the girls with the Lord Xenoff. Uh, Age, sex, location check? Handle it. Yeah, yeah. A- ASL. 16 uh, M. <laughs> picks. <laughs> you download one like porn pic, took like an hour <laughs> just to get to the boobs. Just watch it go down. Yeah. <laughs> Take Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you want to say something. Yeah, I do. Um, I have to pee so bad. I, I keep wanting to tell you. I that. mean, you could have just silently went to I the bathroom. I don't know, I don't know where it is. I was like, going to ask you. Just where. go up those stairs behind. Right, you find man. it. You find it. So, 2050. Any industry? Uh, I mean, uh, you can do the the. Uh, I don't. I really don't know what you do for a living. So I'm an electrician. So you could. You want to talk? We haven't had an electrician on the show to talk about 2050. What you think it might be like? I bet it's going to be different or really the same. Thirty years from now, I could. I can't even imagine what would happen in 30 years because things are happening so quickly now. Like now you're able to control lights um, through Bluetooth. So you don't even need wires anymore. Um, well, what about for the, uh, the power? The ma- no, that always has to be brought in with um, conductors, copper conductors. I don't know how they get I away mean, from that. It's got to physically did it. happen. Well, without wires? Yeah. With the, like through the air? Nikola Tesla. Right. What, what do you mean? mean? He generated power. He trained. I'm uh, listen. I'll sixty percent it. Andy Barr, wah, wah, our check. fact checker, fact checked this. But I'm pretty sure Tesla w- was was transmitting electricity wirelessly. Okay. Or was on the verge of it and electrocuted himself. Yeah, ele- maybe electricity. <laughs> I have does, no idea. <laughs> electricity does go through the air. I've been in like uh, massive like switch yards where it's it's hot everywhere. Um, but I, in thirty years. I can't even imagine new thing. Uh, Well, all right. This is what I hope happens. Solar right now is becoming this major thing. Uh, Solar fields are being put up everywhere, but there are these massive panels that aren't very efficient. I think eventually that. Well, did you? Those fields will be used uh, more efficiently. Smaller panels able to accept more of the sun's rays and turn it into energy rather than like waste most of it. Have you seen the new solar roof shingles for yes. Tesla? Yeah, so I that's did what see you're those, talking about. Like that's awesome. brilliant, right? So, yeah, but they can make it more efficient. Like it only, uh, let's say, a regular solar panel only really um, collects thirty percent of the energy that it could. Um, uh, NASA is able to do like let's say 70% or something, but that's not made to the public. But eventually that's what I'd like to see is that us use this uh, solar because it's renewable and you never goes away. You're not mining for it. Right. But I mean, isn't it, isn't it true? Like, uh, so we could do that with a a stroke of a pen, right? But politics isn't going to let that happen, right? There's too much money in fossil fuels. Absolutely. I mean, those companies were buying up patents for generations of electric solar use and just, burning them right so we have to wait for someone to buy the sun well, and then well i mean good. yeah right but and <laughs> like like you're talking about solar panels it's illegal or not illegal but it's it's not all right new jersey they're giving you money hand over fist to put shingles on your roof or, or solar panels on your roof but they won't let you do it in florida why because if everybody put shingle uh, solar panels on their roof in florida there would be no electric company right because they generate so much, so much energy sun. so politically it's right. corruption. 
And that's destroying the planet, which is, just blows my mind, you know? That's crazy. Great bathroom, by the way. You got a great bathroom. Yeah, well, you should see the new one upstairs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I want to talk about this. I don't know if I talked about this last week. Do you have a minute? You're looking at your phone. I hate when you start doing that. Well, the giants, oh, the giants, giants are going to be. Oh, my God. It's only on. 740. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm talking it? About it. I got it. Right? Oh, yeah. we're good. It's post-game workout. We got another at Pre-game least two workout. hours. Did I talk about, <laughs> um, since we got on the, a tech topic here, did I talk about uh, Ray Kurzweil and um, Neil deGrasse Tyson talking at uh, the video I watched the other no. day? All right. So you guys are aware of who, who these people are? Yeah. Wait, who's the first guy? Ray Kurzweil. He he wrote the singularity. He, I talk about him all the time. He's exponential growth with technology. Oh. Things that you're going to have. One of his big things is if you don't have a technology embedded into your body in oh, the next yeah, yeah. X amount of years, you'll be left behind. Okay. okay? And he, he contends that like nano chips, computers will be so small, they'll be able to inject them into your bloodstream and they'll constantly be in your body scanning Not- you for issue and, and then wirelessly communicating with computers and so you'd always know oh, that you have something. Not the craziest thing. To no, it's going. It's all. going to happen. Right. Yeah. So him and him and um, Neil, Neil deGrasse, DeGrasse are like arguing, right? And then uh, he Ray brought up the most amazing point. He was talking about how technology sneaks up on the human race, and he he used Google glasses as an as an example. And he, and uh, so he said, um, Google glasses come out. People have them on their face. They're a major failure. Right. But that technology doesn't go away. It just isn't popular. And they keep working on it. And then 10 years later, boom, it comes out as a contact lens and it's connected to your synapses. So you put that lens in your eye and it's doing everything that Google Glass is doing. And it's communicating to your phone through your thoughts or wirelessly. So (laughs) here's my here's my problem. Here's what, what I'm getting at. And it's already happening with the the watch, right? You wear the Google Watch. It's the same theory, except you're not. You know, so like when that happens and we're sitting around the table, but yet I'm looking at you, I'm having a conversation, but I'm accessing through my lens cap. Yeah. All of these different things and searching and questioning and what is society going to be like? <laughs> it's a deep like, question. Like what is human interaction at that um, point? Um, fun. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't tell right now, but I'm looking up porn. <laughs> yeah. hundred percent. That's or like fact checking. Like you. what's left? Well, that's why. That's why. Like I respect what Steve does. Like I mean, he he likes. You know, Steve doesn't like. He goes on. He does the podcast. He goes online. He looks. He, we do fantasy on our phones and stuff. But he does. He's not on like Twitter and Instagram. He, he doesn't live through social, social media. media. Not that social media is exactly what you're talking about, but it's a big part of what people do today nowadays. Where you're always on social media, yeah. and checking it and stuff. And that's like takes away. I think part of like the human experience somewhat. And it also like, you know, you talk to your friends on Facebook, you talk to your friend. And then when you get with those friends, yeah. you're like, hey, sometimes it's weird. And you're like, oh, wow, this is I forgot. I have to actually be a person. You already know everything. And right. That, that's what I think. Yeah, happening. right. That too. You're losing the mystery. Like, yeah. Remember hey, when, how have you been? You oh, I know to, exactly how you've been. Remember when you go to a party or somewhere and you didn't know who was going to be there? I think that was awesome. Right. right. Like, oh, you're here. And you don't. Yeah, yeah, that is. Aw- well, I everyone is, always says yes to the invitation. You, to don't, no you don't know exactly how you've been. <laughs> you know exactly how I wanted. I want to perceive myself to you as how yeah, I Yeah, true. That's that's right. It's a fault. It's just a it false is. reality, but and other, it's almost more sad. Like yeah, you know, but the it's other very end, sad. The other end of that is like if you have, you know you're really close friends or people you you, you know well, that's that's it, that almost doesn't apply to them. But it's it's almost more convenient when it's someone that you like. Remember when you come back from college? They're like you know when you like back in the day, and uh, you'd see someone that you went to high school with that you weren't really that close with, and it's that typical conversation like, hey, what's up? you in school? Uh, yeah. What you, what's your major? Yeah, yeah. Now it's like if you see that person that you weren't really, you know, friends with, but your acquaintances, but they, they're your friends on Facebook. They see you like, oh, hey, what's up? I saw you did this, and that you automatically have a dialogue, right. so it's not awkward. That's so true there's that too. angle of it. But too. is that dialogue real, or yeah. is it just like surface stuff? Like- I mean, it's real because now we're talking about it. They can be like, oh, yeah. I saw you were did, did this thing. Oh yeah, how was that? I was really cool. I went here, did this, this, this. right? You know, yeah, the, the, could- the the art of the conversation is dying. Right? right and now, and now we sound like our grandparents, right? We sound old right now, being like these, these, these yeah. it's gonna kill rock and roll is gonna kill right. society. But yeah, so but it's, it's, so it's gonna be the norm to them, right? So then it's a new conversation now because that's what happened. That's what our grandparents said. Oh, this isn't music, or um, but it is. It's great music, you know. Right. So it's the same thing maybe with this. Is maybe that it'll be? We're not thinking what kind of what, what kind of uh, cool stuff. I have can a, I have an so argument have to that people. point though. Um, music didn't change. Human, the human race in the societal. Uh, I think well, it you did. know what? Maybe no, it did. It Punk did. Rock, I take that back. I take yeah, that back. Music is like, all right. So here's my point. 
uh, your grandparents or let's say uh, people who listened to um, big band, right? When they were kids, they were outside playing in the streets, building forts in the woods. Okay. People that listened to the Beatles, right? When they were kids, they were outside in the streets, building forts built in the woods, yeah. playing stickball. People that listened to Guns N' Roses and Nirvana. When they were kids, they were outside in the streets playing kickball, building forts in the woods. Yeah. The kids now so th- that are always on their phone are not outside in the streets playing kickball and building forts in the woods. That's my, that's my point. Most of them are. None of them are. Drive around the neighborhood you grew up in and tell me where, where you used to play. Are there kids outside? Well, right. you don't see like pickup football games no. in the fields like you did, or you, you know might get saying? arrested if you. Do. I mean, there's kids. They, <laughs> do you know like, what I'm saying though? So no, that's the difference I'm well, trying we, to make. We talked about it on our show, like with um, with the football thing, like the 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 death less, of the NFL, right, right? The death of the NFL, like the kid. The, there's not as many kids playing football and stuff and doing physical things, and it's it is different. It's it's such a it's different, definitely different. It's yeah. the yeah. start of something. But new but that. maybe you right. know, I, there I, might be highs and lows of it too. We don't know what it's going to bring. It's all so new, and 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 now it's it's advancing at such a rapid pace right. that like you had an iPod what like 15 years ago or something and it was like oh look at this crazy thing and now it's like you have things that we didn't even imagine you know yeah in our lifetime so bro fit. in our oh, lifetime was, like we're living in a we're crazy in the time. part where like it went from TVs that were still pretty awesome with VCRs which were crazy which holy we shit CDs just came out and then now it's like <laughs> right we need yeah. to get up to change the channel All right <laughs> I, in my life, right. I had to get up, yeah, change too. the channel. If I wanted to make a phone call, it took like 10 minutes to right. dial it. <laughs> right. You have to go that rotary. How many nines are in that? Which yeah. always confused me about 911. And remember back in the day, you didn't have yeah. to do uh Why put the nine in there? Wouldn't it be with like one one? Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> but zero is even. Well, remember, that was, yeah, that was remember back in the day. You didn't was have a to, zero first? Yeah. On a rotary? Yeah. I don't remember. Wasn't it? Oh, I forget. I don't I just, but I remember not having to type the area code. You know, just, just yeah, write, just right, type right. the number. That too. Yeah. You know, no area code. Now there's too many phones, and everyone, that's right. So yeah. now you need all that. So I don't know. That's my point. It's kind of sad, it's sad and scary, but maybe you're right. Maybe it's beautiful. I think it's just the start of something new, and we can't be afraid uh, to move in the future. Otherwise, we're just we're going to be stuck. the problem. Yeah. I mean, I judge it also by my, my nephew's ten. Yeah, he's on his phone a lot and stuff, but he's always outside. Right. He's oh, he plays sports. He's constantly and it has a lot to do with the parents surfing, too because bodyboarding, skateboard. Well, yeah, my brother's. I see parents. Gym. I see parents <laughs> sitting on their phones while their kids are playing, and they're like, "Daddy, look at me!" And they're like, "Uh huh, yeah." And they're literally looking at their phones, and and that that bothers you. Look me. at you. Look at what you're doing in front of your kid, man. Like I'm, I'm, I try to be as conscious of it, but there are times where I'm home and I'm exhausted, and my kids like playing with their dolls, and I'm. On my phone for a minute, and she'll be like, "Daddy," and I'm like, "Oh wow, I just wasn't paying attention." Like it, I get sucked into it. Does but, she go for the phone? Uh, not so much. Like she's starting to be interested in it, but we try to like really not let her play with it. But now she's, you know, she sees her friends with it or her cousins or whatever, like playing on the phone, the games, and she's interested in it. Like she sees My Little Pony on the phone, she's like, oh, "I want to get into that." Like that's, and I'm like. Me too. But then, a, yeah, the cool thing I'm though, that I noticed that my, that my nephew though, when he's on his phone, like he's not really playing games. He's looking up surfing videos, skating videos, soccer videos, all the stuff That's he loves doing. Bodyboarding. Yeah, you know what else? Still, you yeah. know what he could be doing though? He could be playing soccer, surfing. surfing. Well, what, no, like, he does. He does. Like he we have does. A, we have a family member kid outside. that watches videos of kids in our family that like he watches videos of kids playing video games. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's huge. It's insane. It's the biggest thing on the internet, on YouTube. But like, that's the craziest it's thing. It's the number like, one thing. Video it's like games watching the someone watch a movie. I couldn't that's believe nuts. that when I saw that. That's like, nuts. I, I thought he was learning how right, to me too. beat like the tricks or something. Right. No. And then he'd play it the number and he one, just watched the whole The number thing. one YouTube guy, he's the worst. PewDiePie, PewDiePie, 52 million subscribers. He plays video games and you watch him. That's that's what his core... It's almost like the opening... the core thing he did. The opening things. And like he's like, oh my God, see, I'm not going to go in here. Oh my God, can you believe it? Oh my God. Like all he's doing is screaming and <laughs> where, yelling. Where you see people like open gifts or like boxes. Unbox- unboxing. unboxing. Unboxing, yeah. Like that's a crazy thing too. Like... That whole thing. that I get though. I, I understand I, that a little bit more. If but, I buy this microphone, or before I buy it, I'd like to see it unbox. Right, and and like see how it works and stuff. That's yeah. a bit different. But I mean, like toy, like kids doing it with toys. It's just like a weird thing. Like here, here's this toy. Look at, I got the green one. It's weird. It's like a weird thing. I don't it know. is. Ah, it's so old. Ah, these kids with the green things. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, so there's videos of just someone taking. Yeah, just like opening like toys. an action figure out yeah. of the thing, and then yeah. Can we what's call the end nephew? of it? Could what? Can we call your nephew? Yeah, can we call him? Yeah, I think I, I, I really enjoyed ending on a phone call last, last week. Call that him? was a good deal. You want to call we got to call, 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 call somebody. 
All right. It's like two sixty eight. Can we call, <laughs> can we call can we call Adam Richmond? <laughs> we call I Adam probably Richmond. could. We, um, we we've actually had both Man vs. Food celebrities. Yeah. On oh, you had Casey on. Yeah. Oh, let's call Casey. Yeah, let's we got, like, we hey, should get Casey on again. Let's uh, let's find out wh- how much food we could possibly eat. Uh, we, oh, we, that's another thing we were talking about with uh, a little calling the shots plug. But we were saying we want to have a competitive eater on and do a live challenge. I don't know if yeah. you're interested in that. I'm not a competitive eater. Me neither. But I'm a little me pissed off that Ladondo didn't send me some broccoli. I'm this. sorry, the person you were. Oh, uh, uh, well, that's you know. That what? sometimes that's what happens. What the heck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. What did he, he, he block well, you? On on. The <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna call him. I could go. Ahead. Hang on, hang on. I got someone. This I'm guy he just hang wants on. to keep. He just keeps stopping Wait. my music. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I got it. Well, you wanted to end it on a on a uh, on a phone call. So I feel like is it a we kid? Go. Well, <laughs> he goes well. You have it on speaker? Yeah. <laughs> now he's calling back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Derek yeah, D. Derek D. Uh, uh, hashtag Derek, Derek D. D. Appreciate it. Sucker. All right. All right all Sucker. Right. <laughs> oh, guys, thank you so much for coming out. It's been, it's been a hoot. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, thanks for having us. Hoot and holler. Um, anything you want to plug on the way out? Absolutely. Well, uh, listen to Call in the Shots. Uh, find us on iTunes. Yeah, baby. And Even Reno plugging the show. <laughs> that was way better than the beginning. <laughs> it was. It was a step up that? from the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to do that too. I'm going to plug Call in the Shots. iTunes, SoundCloud, wherever you get your podcast. I'm also, I want to plug, um, I want to plug, oh, oh, no way, that's. Is your house on fire? No, that's the doorbell. I wonder if there's I want to plug delivered. Mike Polano giving Taylor Allen his stand-up segment from my one-man oh. show. I didn't do that? No, no. Not with the, better with the, with the audio in the oh. last. All good. All right. I'm, you know. He's still waiting for it. Like like we said, I'm, I'm it's going to be like a gift when I, when I. Accept it. I don't want Derek D's world to explode, so everybody go to DerekD.com, <laughs> maybe burning like a weirdo.com. Oh, yeah. Yeah, burning like a weirdo. That's very com. funny. Thank you. Oh, PBR Podcast. You can find us on the web, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's give us some love, and we will love you back. Thank you, guys.